On February 20th, 2000, Phil Jackson put Kobe Bryant on Allen Iverson after Iverson dropped 16 in the first half. This is what happened next. The strategy for most of the second half was to send Iverson baseline. Check out Kobe's feet here. He's facing the sideline rather than Iverson, which is the technique you use to send guys baseline. And when the post is occupied like it is here, that option isn't available. But what really made Kobe special was his ability to recover. He forces baseline again, but this time there's nobody in the post. And he ices the screen to make sure that Iverson can't use it, so Iverson rejects it and goes the other way. So at this point, Kobe's momentum is going one way while Iverson's is going the other. And then you got Shaq in the paint, who really wouldn't step up on these, so this should be an easy pull-up jump. But Kobe's able to quickly change momentum and use his length advantage to contest. That was a common theme throughout the second half. Look at how much space Kobe's given Iverson on the catch. So AI decides to raise up for the jumper and watch how quickly Kobe eats up the space. On some possessions, AI would try to attack these closeouts. Here he's about to make a cut that he was so good at that they named it after him, the Iverson cut. But watch how Kobe closes out, stops, and then slides his feet. Just incredible. And it's helped by the fact that AI has to go up with his right hand, which is closest to Kobe. Then in ISO situations, Kobe would slide his feet, retreating to cut off the angle. As great of a defender as Kobe was, you can't shut down a guy like Iverson without help from your teammates. One of the primary strategies was to cheat off of Eric Snow. Watch as Brian Shaw completely leaves him to make sure that Iverson doesn't curl into the paint. One time that Snow made them pay, he brought it down to a one-point game with 35 seconds left. But even outside of Snow, AI had everybody's attention. On this one, they get cross-matched in transition, so AC Green's gotta pick him up. Then, Ron Harper sees the mismatch and he goes to double-team. But he drives by AC with no problem and then he's got Shaq waiting for him. Iverson makes the correct pass, but the Lakers were gonna make sure that he didn't beat him. But ultimately it came down to Iverson versus Kobe, man on man, with the game on the line.